Did this man rise from the dead? In a metaphoric sense. That is, he was dead in a bad way of life, but rose to a new and better life. This report is the headline news of Aylesby's paper, The Bucks Herald, that reported the court case of David Clark, who confessed to the police 24 crimes that he had committed during a three-year period since leaving Dover Borsal in 1968. He confessed these crimes to the police one year after his conversion from crime to follow Christ. The headlines read, David Clark, who had a three-year career of undetected crime, experienced a Christian conversion while suffering from the effects of LSD, he told Aylesby Magistrates Court on Tuesday. After wrestling with his conscience for a year, he confessed to 24 crimes and gave information leading to the recovery of over £1,000 worth of stolen property. In court, he pleaded guilty to charges of stealing a £300 colour TV set from an old people's home, a £20 spray gun, a hydraulic jack, and he also asked for 21 other offences to be taken into consideration, including stealing a builder's shed two cars, a bicycle, an electric art welder, two other TV sets, two compressors, a road trailer. Clark, 21, of Finmere Crescent Aylesbury, said his reputation in the town was that of a man who was enjoying himself. I used to sell drugs to young people and indulge in permissive sex, he declared. Religion to me was rubbish, and for sissy people who couldn't stand their own two feet, he said. Within my heart I was searching for truth and a meaning to life. He had good prospects of getting on in life, he went on, but I was not satisfied with what I had. I was greedy, selfish and boastful. Clark had been using pet pills and marijuana since he was 16 years old, he told the court, but it was after taking LSD that he experienced what he described as a major thing in my life. He described the torment he suffered as a result of taking the drug and went on. I warn any young person who hears my testimony, the effects of LSD are so bad, I warn you to stay clear. While in this condition, he said, he called on the name of Jesus, and his troubles went from him. Jesus Christ spoke to me as loudly as I speak here, saying, David, I'm with you, he said. What you're going through is nothing compared to what hell is like. Mr Peter Murray of Manor Crescent Wendover testified to the sincerity of Clark's conversion, revealing that some time before it took place he had known of Clark and had taken part in prayers for this young and profligate man, offered at the instance of a mutual friend. Mr Murray said he was habitually sceptical of sudden conversions and preferred to put them to the test of time. The time which had elapsed since Clark's profession of faith had convinced him that this young man would now be salt and light in society. He is in truth a new man, and he had experienced what Christ called a second birth. Mr Murray said Clark now put himself out to be of assistance, read the New Testament intensely, always carried a New Testament, attended a wide circle of churches and would spend hours in discussion on spiritual things. Clark's difficulty during the months spent deciding how to make amends for his past had been the problem of accusing himself without informing on others. Passing sentence, the chairman of the magistrates, Colonel Tetley, said to Clark, you have pleaded guilty to three offences and asked us to take into consideration 21 others and accept a record over a short period of time, which is quite the worst we've ever seen, we have considered what we ought to do and have come to the conclusion that your evident desire to be a martyr is one thing we're not going to gratify. He gave Clark a conditional discharge for three years, pointing out that the sincerity of his conversion could be shown by his behaviour during that period. The whole court appearance was reported in the local newspapers and in the National Evening Standard. The news headlines of the Bucks Herald read why he confessed to 24 crimes and converted on LSD trip, whilst the Bucks advertiser read 
Man Speaks of Horrors on LSD.